lakini Mungu ni kupanga tulipanga lakini wewe umeshawahi kuishia Mungu wetu. Asante sababu ni siku mambo yote ambayo yaweza kufanyika katika bizi mkononi mwako maana twajua sisi hatuwezi bila wewe. Kwa hivyo wakati tunaanza shughuli zetu za kupumzisha mwili ukaweza Mungu wetu kunenda pamoja nasi mtakatifu uh, spirit yako ikaweza kuenda pamoja nasi uwepo wako utaweza kutembea nasi Mungu wetu ya blessings always walk with us because God we know that without you we shall not make it God we are weak but you are strong kwa hivyo ni wewe tu tunakuitisha nguvu familia wakati wamekuwa wame Mungu wetu they have lost the, 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 the strength of our father we know that God you are going at every step to encourage them you are going to strengthen them God. oh God we know that their hearts are weak their hearts are bleeding but God you are going to wipe the tears that God they are having Mungu tunakuomba ukaweza kusimama pamoja nao wakati hata wale watakuja kuona mwili ukaweza Mungu wetu kuwatia nguvu let them accept the situation as it is because God it is you who say every man who is born of a woman shall have to die and God this is not die but it's a lasting time oh God for our all tunakushukuru tunakuomba wakati Mungu wakutaendelea kutoka hapa na kuendelea na kazi yote hata ibada ambayo itakuwa kwa sani Mungu wetu ni sisi tu Mungu wetu tunajenyekea mbele zako tukisema Mungu wetu ukaweza kutawala kwa hali zote hata wale wote mpaka kanisani na wachungaji watakuwa kufo wakifanya kazi tuwaweka mkono wako Mungu wetu wakati hata sasa wale wanakuja tunaomba the, 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 the grace of the journeys of the masses Jehovah Father that the ones who are coming right now na wale watakuwa tunaenda kanisani Mungu wetu tunaomba neema ya safari ukaweza kutukaribia Mungu wetu asanti sababu ya sasa asanti ya sababu ya kila mmoja wetu asanti sababu ya familia usiache familia kama Mungu wetu ape nguvu maana tunaomba tukiamini katika jina hizo Kristo mwokozi wetu baba wetu ni mbinguni jina lako litukuze kwa
Sifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, nachukua nafasi hii kuwakaribisha sana katika ibada hii ya siku ya leo ambayo tumealikwa na dada yetu na Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia dada yetu na tunashukuru Bwana sana kwa sababu ya neema na baraka na ushindi wake. E, mmekaribishwa sana ili tuweze kumwabudu Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ni siku ya kuabudu tukiwa na sherehe na furaha kwa sababu ya mmoja ambaye amepiga vita na kushinda. Kwa hivyo karibuni sana Bwana asifiwe. Tungependa kuanza ibada ya siku ya leo na kuimba wimbo kwa walio na programs. I believe tuko na programs hapo nyuma. Kazi yangu ikiisha uh, nami nikiokoka uh, worship team watatuongoza. Yokoka nituva kutokuwa ribika nitangua mokoni nifika bonga moni atakuwa kwanza kunilaki mimi nitamjua nitamjua ikimona uso kwa uso Kakumona mokozi kwanza Kimi nitamjua Nitamjua Nikimona uso kwa uso Nitamjua Nitamjua Kwa lama za mizumari Milangona 
ni wauti wanadani pitisha basi bo machozi wala uzuni nita uwemba wa milele lakini nitamjua nikiona uso kwa uso nitamjua kosea ustutie majaribuni lakini utuokoe na yule muovu kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele amen amen asante sana elda kwa kutuongoza kwa maombi tunashukuru sana wakati huu tutaenda kusikia maneno ya ufufuo mwijiristi kagore tafadhali tuongoze kufanya vile Ni sabona asifiwe. Uh, nitakae waongoza katika maneno ya ufufuo majina ni Lea na nimeokoka. Ni kweli Kristo amefufuka kutoka kwa wafu akawa limbuko la kwanza la waliolala. Kuona kuwa ni mtu alieleta kifo vivyo hivyo ni mtu aliyesababisha kufufuka kwa wafu. Kwa kuwa kama vile watu wote hufariki kwa sababu ya Adamu Vivyo hivyo ndivyo watu wote watakavyofufuka kwa ajri ya Kristo. Sasa nawaambieni siri ndugu zangu kwamba nyama na damu haziwezi kuridhi ufalme wa Mungu wala uharibifu kuridhi kutoharibika. Angalieni nawaambia ninyi siri hatutalala sote lakini sote tutabadilika kwa dakika moja kufumba na kufumbua wakati wa parapanda ya mwisho. Maana parapanda Italia na watu na, wa, uh, na, na watu sorry kwa maana parapanda Italia na wafu watafufuliwa wasiwe na uharibifu nasi tutabadilika hapo ndipo litakapo kuwa lile neno lililoandikwa mauti umemezwa na kushindwa kuwa api ewe mauti kushindwa uh, kushinda kwako Yu wapi e mauti uchungu wako uchungu wa mauti ni dhambi na nguvu za dhambi ni torati lakini Mungu na ashukuliwe atupeae kushinda kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo basi ndugu zangu wap, uh, wapendwa muimarike msitirike mkazidi sana kutenda kazi ya siku zote kwa kuwa mwajua ya kwamba Taabu yenu sio buri katika Bwana. Amen. Asante. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Basi tuwashukuru sana kwa mahali ambapo tumefika ili tuweze kuendelea na kwa sababu tuko na hata wageni kwa niaba ya chairman wa kanisa hili nitamwalika elder Mary Wainaina ili yaweze kukaribisha watu na kuwaelekeza katika mambo tofauti tofauti. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nipungie ni mkono. Haleluya. Asubuhi njema. Acha niseme ya kwamba nimeokoka. Yesu ni Bwana na mokozi wa maisha yangu. Aa, na mshukuru Mungu kwa kunipa kipaji cha uhai siku hii ya leo kwani ni kiama kuwepo na kuwa hai kuiposa nina hamani na nina furaha ya wokovu Aa, kwa niaba ya chairman wetu ambaye hayuko pamoja nasi asubuhi hii na pia kwa niaba ya elder DK ambaye alikuwa ni elder wa mama yetu na kwa niaba ya zone Ma, mama alikuwa ni wa Mizpa district na Mizpa district iko katika southern zone ambayo tulishiriki pamoja na hiyo ndiyo zone ambayo imekuwa na kazi hii tunawakaribisha nyote nyote kwa furaha iliyo kuu kwa kuja ili mkawa pamoja nasi tunawashukuru sana pia kwa kutufariji na kwa kutembea nasi katika safari hii na mkaja ili tukamalizia kasi, kazi hii Mungu wa mbinguni akawabariki na msikie mkiwa mahali ambapo mnapaswa kuwa ili tukamalizia kazi hii kwa pamoja kwa hivyo karibuni sana 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 na Mungu aldai jua kubariki akawabariki ningependa kusema kwamba upande wangu wa nyuma ya kanisa 
panavio pale na ukifika pale utaviona vimeandikwa vizuri na ungeweza kujisaidia pale na upokono wangu wa kulia mwisho tuna mkahawa wetu kwa hivyo ukiwa na jambo lolote lile pengine ungehitaji maji na chochote kingine kile mahali pale pia ungeweza kusaidika na kama una tatizo lingine lolote ama jambo lingine lolote tunaasha zambao wamesimama uh, ungewaongea na pamoja na wao na watakuelekeza mahali popote unapo stahili kuwa na ungependa kuwa Mungu akatubariki tunapoendelea na ibada hii na msikie mmekaribishwa sana Bwana wabariki Amen thank you so much Mungu akubariki sana elda Wainaina neema na baraka uh, naendelea kukubushwa ya kwamba ashas wana emphasize sana watu wakubuke ya kwamba tuko katika bado hali ya hatari kwa hivyo barakoa zivariwe vizuri uh, watu wasije wakakosa kufuatilia yale ashas wanawaambia sitting positions bado kanisa ni kubwa kwa hivyo ukionyeshwa mahali ama ukielekezwa mahali utaketi hata kama ulikuwa unapendelea sana kuketi mahali tofauti kwa sababu ya social distances kwa hivyo just obey e, fuatilia vile ambavyo unaelekezwa na huyo asha ili e, tuweze kukaa vile ambavyo inavyostahili we don't want to get out of this place alafu tuseme ya kwamba hatukuti e, zile taratibu za MOH basi bwana uh, engineer Johnson Kamau kwa niaba ya familia uh, kaidri welcome ili nawe utukaribishe sababu kazi hii twaifanya pamoja uh, with the family bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe bwana asif Mwadhani ya Gosho. Uh, jina langu ni Johnson Kamau na nimeokoka na ninje dete Jesu Kristo ndo akohonokia. Langu ni kuambia karibuni sana tumefurahi vile mumekuja, mumetushikiria na mnaendelea kutushikiria na mujue ya kwamba sisi sio kuomboleza tunaomboleza kwa sababu tunajua ya kwamba mama yetu ni kulala amelala kwa sababu alikuwa ndani ya Kristo. Bwana asifiwe wajua ya kwamba amelala na atafufuka wakati wa Kristo na tutaonana na yeye tena. Ningetaka kila mtu asikie ya kwamba tunafurahi juu yake kuingia mahali hapa na ya kwamba sisi kama familia tunafuraha sana. So welcome na mjue ya kwamba tunawapenda na tunafurahi tunavyowaona. God bless you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, may the Lord bless you. Uh, kutendee mema na kuongoze na thank you on behalf of the family. We bless the Lord. Basi tukifika pale tutaenda kusomewa mambo machache tu ya historia ya mwenda zake na nitauliza ya kwamba secretary wa Women's Guild atakuja ili atuelekeze katika usomaji huo. Baadaye wale ambao wako na tributes wawe wakijitayarisha nitawaelekeza jinsi tutakavyoenenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. E, kwa majina naitwa Mire Nyagothie wa Addison Gishohi. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Leo ni siku yetu ya furaha. Juu wakati ile mwana Gerald amerara kama ameshida vita ya duniani. Hiyo ndio hiyo ndio furaha yetu. Duchu najua tukifika huko Bigon tutakutana na yeye. Kwa hivyo leo si siku ya machosi, ni siku ya furaha na kuselebrate ati nyokavi ameshida. Ile, ile vita yote ilikuwa kwa hii dunia ameshida na sasa amerara. Kwa hivyo mtasoma uroje yake na tutasoma na kigeresa iko marabiri kuna ya kikuyu na ya kigeresa. Nitasoma ya kigeresa juu ya wale pegine hawajui kikuyu. Na tusome. The late Olive Nyokabi Mwangi was born on 1st January 1946 
in Itinga is a, is a Gani Muranga county. She was the first one to the late Kesa Kemani and the late Miriam Mudoni. She was raised around with her 12 siblings. The late David Bogoro, Bogoro Jokir, Lucia, Susan, Jerry, Waidera, the late Degwa, Nanga, Wajiko, Wagoi, Ademaina. Education. The late Nyokabireta relocated to E. William Dimu, Nakuru County, with her parents in 1948, where she later went through her education, church. The late Nyokabi Mwagi was baptized at PCA Dr. Arthur on 12th August 1977 by Reverend R.M. Waba. Olive was an active member of Dr. Arthur Tio Hardemise, Women's Guild. The late Nyokabi Mwagi was inducted to the Women's Guild on 13th for 1985 by Reverend Stephen Karioki when when Elder Grace, when Elder Grace W. Dongo was the chair lady, she was later confirmed at the issue with a badge as a full member. Marriage. Olive Nyokov met her love in the late, in the late Moses Mwangi while working at Neran's farm. She got married to her roughly husband in early 1967. They were blessed with eight children. The late Mere Wajiro Kamau, Rea Mudani, Naomi Jerry, Jack Moya, Rahab Nyabura, Bobua, Ruth Wajiko, Jessica Kemani, and Irene Duta, mother-in-law to jo Johnson Kamau Jogona, Nakuru County Government. And she re, and the late John Bogua, grandmother to George Jogona, the late Moses Mwangi, Eja, Vivian, Asia, Sylvia, Jacinta, Jose, Chansi, Nimo, Dan, Kavi, Magie, Mireanne, Moses, Karaya, Nyabura, Rina, Carl, Ade. Stephen, Stephen had a great mother to Jan, Janare, Nigo, Nejo, Jasmine, Nima, Ryan, Maria Ademoya. Work. Olive started working at Nerian's farm, Free Area, in 1961. She later became a, a librarian at Nakuru Town. Nakuru County. She ventured into business until 1994 when she joined Dr. Arthur Academy as head cook until March 2020 when she retired. The late Olive was very hardworking, jolly, socio, courageous, and easy to interact with, with, with her smile and laughter were infections, were in, infectious. She had a warm welcome and was always willing to lend her a helping hand. To the young, she was a mentor, a pillar, and an inspiration. To the adults, a great anchor, a pillar, and an, an, an encourager that you could always count on. Her generosity and the wise counsel will, of, will of forever be missed. Illness. The late Nyokabi Mwangi has lived a healthy life all through. She began airing on 12 8, 2021, and was taken ill and admitted at Nakuru Provincial General Hospital. PGH. She was receiving treatment there until Tuesday, 21st September 2021, when, she when at around 8 a.m., the Lord called her home. The late Nyokabi rested 
at the age of 75 years. She survived by seven children, 20 grandchildren, and seven great grandchildren. Appreciation. We thank the Almighty God for the life of all Okabi Mwangi. God grant her eternal rest and may perpetual right shine upon her. Rest in peace, ma'am. Church, my two, may God bless you all. May the Lord's name be glorified. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Asante kwa sababu ya kutusomea vizuri uh, historia fupi. Najua ni mengi ambayo yangenakiliwa lakini basi hayo yanatupea a sneak preview ya huyo ni nani. Basi zaidi na hayo kuna wale ambao wako na tributes. Ni gioba kama inawezekana eh, mwenye anasoma hicho kikudi if it is possible kina simama pamoja naye akisoma for example kwa niaba ya watoto eh, Johnson will do it but if it's possible the children can stand because they are doing it together ikifika ni kwa grad children mmoja atasoma but the grad children can also stand and eh, probably accompany the one who is reading there today is your day and is a is a set off and it is important for the family and finally the great grad children so tutaanza na ya tribute ya watoto Johnson and uh, kama watoto wanaweza simama uh, it will be good Jack Yeah, yeah. Mwenda, somebody can make sure the volume of the mic uh, in a skika vizuri. Uh, yeah, it's on. From children. Somewhere in our heart, beneath all our grief and pain, is a small we still wear at the sound of your dear name. The precious word is mother. She was our world, you see? But now our heart is breaking because she is no longer here with us, but we miss you dearly. Mommy, you are and always will be a breath of forever in a world of temporary. Uh, thank you for that tribute. May the Lord bless you. Uh, great grandchildren, Angel Kamau, and uh, also, uh, sorry, grandchildren, Angel Kamau, uh, and the team. I had like they are 20, but wale wako. Praise God. Sisi wenye tumesimama hapa ndo wajukuwa shosho. We thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'll read our tribute. She was not just our grandmother, but our friend, our inspiration, our confidant, buffet creator, chapo zake zilikuwa sana, storyteller and comforter. She taught us an awful lot, perhaps more important lessons that we've learned in all our formal education. She taught us a lot about strength and endurance. It was our strength that we learned the most from living, living through pain with a shrug and a smile. The most important lesson she taught us was about love and the meaning of family. Sometimes it was the way she showed her unconditional love to not only blood relatives, but to every wife, her hus wife or husband, friend, present or ex of each family member. 
To her family was not genetic, but a feeling. Once you were loved by someone she loved, she loved you. She was the central hub of our family, the foundation of our lives. We keep trying to think of one of our most favorite memory of her, but there are thousands of little glimpses of memories and it's overwhelming to us. The way she looked at us as she peeled potatoes, as she sat having her cup of tea, coming from taking care of Kavese and Karetu, Shosho alukwame taja ship zake majina. So Shosho, we try to keep busy and keep moving and we'll be doing okay. But then it comes over us like a flood and we have to just breathe. We know people lose their grandmothers all the time. It happens, it's part of life, but it is rough. We have to remember to just breathe. We can't even begin to thank you for everything you've taught us, all the love you've shown us, the friendship you've given to us, how much you've shaped who we are, how much you've changed our life. There are no words, no words at all. So we miss you, Shosho, and the tears are falling as we write. But we know you wouldn't want us to be sad, and in many ways, we don't feel like we've left you behind. Instead, we are thankful for the miracle of DNA that permits us a glimpse of you in ourselves. And most of all, we are thankful for you. Your great grandkids will indeed miss you, my toe. Missing you dearly, your grandchildren. Thank you. Wow, beautiful, wonderful, we thank God. Yes. You have something else? Or you want the, the great grandchildren to join? All right. Basi Shaniz atasoma kwa niaba ya the great grandchildren. Mwenda, you can adjust the mic for the small boy. My two will miss you. We'll remember the freedom you gave us to ride your goats like horses, play with the seeds, cook for us, chop us, and, and treat us like your playmates. Dance with us, record us. We will miss you, my two, our very own mother, forever in our hearts, lovely angel, great grandchildren. Thank you. God bless you so much. I appreciate them for they have the strength of the Lord. Tuashukuru sana. Mungu awabariki na watende mema. She has worked with a number of people, but there are those workers who felt that they need to give a tribute. Sijui nani ya nasoma kwa niyaba ya hawa wafanyikazi. Aje, iri ya some yo tribute. A few can join, those who are in, wale wafanyikazi ambao wamefanya kazi na yeye. They can join there as she does the tribute. Doctor, other staffs? Uh, tribute to our mom, Shosho, and workmate. Mm. Those memories of you will always make us smile. If only we could have you back just for a little while. Take care, to take care of us and the school children that you loved with all your heart and gave us all a motherly love. You meant so much to us as a, as a fraternity and always you will do. The fact that you are no longer with us will always cause us pain, but you'll forever be in our heart until we meet again. Fear thee well, Shushu. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. It's good to have people from all walks of life. Eh, Abao wana, eh, wana shangiria na wana sema eh, vile ambavyo wamefaidika kupitia eh, kwa eh, utangamano wao na yule ambaya metuondokea. Basi tukifika mahali pale, ningependa tuweze kumtukuza mwenyezi mungu kwa nyimbo kwa sababu reo ni siku ya furaha, jamedali ya meshinda. Tukependa kumshangiria mwenyezi mungu kwa nyimbo, tuko na niko na vikudi vine, E, kikudi cha kwanza ni Pastor Kevin and, and Group. Uh, baadaye hao wafanyikazi ambao walifanya kazi na na Shosho. Then Southern Zone ambapo walikuwa na shiriki e, na tutafunga na ladies wote. Kwa hivyo Pastor Kevin and Group if you're here 
Kaidre Kam. Looks like he is not in yet. Basi twende kwa wafanyikazi. The workers wako na wimbo. Karibuni. Asante mugu wabariki. Let us appreciate them better. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tuashukuru sana. Thank you. Southern Zone. Karibuni, karibuni sana watu wa Southern Zone.
Kia preshetem, a preshetem kwa kumtukuza mwenyezi mungu vizuri. Uh, oh, the ladies, nasijui kama mtatoshea, lakini wachacha wanaeza kuja hapa, wengine wasimame mahali walipo. Oh, the ladies, CO2 a woman's guild, it's all the ladies, that's why nasema wa Dr. Adha, nasimame wa mtukuze mwenyezi mungu kwa wimbo.
you, thank you. Appreciate them tafadhali. Thank you, thank you. Tuashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu sana. Ah, uh, nitaenda nikipea wengine wachache huko katikati. Lakini kwa wakati huu nataka kuchukua nafasi hii. Ah, uh, ni niseme ya kwamba najua dada yetu alikuwa na marafiki wengi na watu ambao walitangamana naye katika nyanja tofauti tofauti. Na kwa hivyo tuko na wageni wengi ambao wamefika katika kikao hiki kuja kuomboleza na jamii. Na tuwashukuru kwa ajili ya hayo. Lakini hatuwezi wapea wote just to recognize their presence ya kwamba wamefika. Kwa hivyo ni taguza tu wachache wachache. Ningependa kuuliza kana kwamba kuna wazee wa kanisa ambao sio wa PCA Dr. Ada ambao wametutembelea siku ya leo. Wasimame mahali walipo. Kama we ni mzee wa kanisa na wewe sio wa PCA Dr. Ada, simama tu mahali ulipo. Wow, we have them, they are here, they are many. Pungieni kanisa mkono na wa appreciate. Thank you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. Wazee wa kanisa wa PCA Dr. Ada walio po siku ya leo simameni. Aya tupungie kanisa mkono na wa appreciate them. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you so so much. Unaweza kuwa wewe ni mchugaji ama pastor ama a minister kutoka dhehebu lingine isipokuwa hili la PCEA ningekusihi kwa heshima usimame mahali popote ulipo kama we ni mchugaji pastor eh, ama eh, pandre simameni tu ni wawili nao ninawaona o ni wanne hapa kuna mwangaza unanichoma kwa hivyo Ningeomba our brother Abebe Isa Nitaiza uwapeleke tu mahali walipo ukipasa sauti ili kwa dakika moja tu watataja jina lako mahali ambapo unahudumu of course eh, pastor Sonakuanga wameokoka kwa hivyo eh, ama na nisiatium haya hivi ni waweze kutumia muda mchache iwezekanavyo uh, bwana asifiwe kwa majina yangu ni Reverend Wakei kutoka area ya Raikipia kwetu ni Sipiri na hubiri na kanisa la Joyce Revolution Church uh, kama unarea nafanyika kuwa watoto wetu na ndipo tuko hapa ili tuweze kumsidikisha mama yetu Mungu awabariki Amen thank you Ya tuendele Asante sana kwa ajili ya nafasi Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Niko na tumaini la uzima wa milele. Katika hiyo niko ni mimi ni mchungaji wa kanisa ni jirani ambaye tumekuwa naye kama mwaka moja. Mimi ni jirani wake mlango kwa mlango. Na hata pia nashukuru kwa sababu ya nafasi hii. Na kwa hivyo wakati ambao nimekuwa na yeye hapo jirani nilikuwa naombana juu na mambo kama hana nini nipe jembe. Na kwa hivyo mimi nasema pole sana hata pia nakuja kwa ajili ya jambo hilo kwa kuwa ni jirani. Asante bwana asifiwe sana. Thank you, thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Naitwa Pastor Catherine Njeri wa Kamau. Nahubiri upande wa Thika, Mangu na kanisa la Gospel Eagles Ministry. Adie lala mbele yetu ni aunty yangu. Bwana wabariki. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Reverend Juguna. Nahubiri na kanisa ya Church of Restoration na upande wa Nairobi na nimeokoka. Yesu ni bwana. Bwana wabariki. Amen. Thank you. Kuna mwingine? Aya, basi hakuna mwingine. Kuna mmoja ambaye ameketi karibu na mimi ambaye ni neighbor wangu sio tu kwa kanisa leo hata kwenye huduma. Reverend Jane Kaidre say hi to the congregation. Bwana asifiwe. Na wasalimu wote katika jina kura Yesu Kristo bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Jean Rohio na Yesu Kristo ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Ninafurahi kwa sababu nimemjua na ameniahidi ya kwamba ataniongoza mpaka mwisho wa dahari. Aa, ni kweli mimi ni jirani rafiki mteda kazi pamoja na our reverend na shukuru bwana hapa tumekuja kwa sababu 
wamoja wa jamii hii ni washirika wetu pale St. Ninians tuko na uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kamau wanaweza kusimama na tuko na watu ambao tumetoka pale St. Ninians na Mirimani kwa jumla pia wao wanaweza kusimama wale ambao wote tuko na tumewaleta for a shoulder to lean on ni vyema kusimama tuombea jamii faraja hata wakati huu bwana awabariki amen thank you so much thank you thank you uh, kuna mchungaji ambaye anawasiri na ilikuwa nafasi ya wachungaji sitaki kumhara sana uh, ili kwanza awe settled uh, pastor ann yuko huku pastor ann all right pastor calvin arikfika bado sawa sawa basi mchungaji karibu sana umekuta watu wakijitambulisha kwa hivyo kabla uketi tuharas wewe kwa kutuabia jina mahali ambapo unahudumu ili maneno ikue mzuri zaidi thank you god bless you so much bwana asifiwe god is good and all the times Naitwa mchungaji Francis Gitahi wa Idhaka. Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Huniongoza, huni leader na hupa tumaini la uzima wa milele. Mimi ni mchungaji wa Kianglikana. nimetoka pale St. Matthew's umoja. Mahari dada yetu na ndugu yetu Jacob Gashili wanahudumu. Tumelete pole na rabilabi zetu. Mungu akawape amani familia na kazidi kuwapa matumaini lift your heart to the jesus amen thank you god bless you na karibu sana asante basi ikifika ni hapo uh, wakati huu ningependa kualika uh, ofisi ya women's guild watakuja hapa vile vile a few representatives of the family eh, nigeza toshokie madhaga negomoria na yumoke haha kado kidogo a few representatives can come here maybe three or four uh, ili tuweze kufanya ile kazi ambayo tunahitaji kuifanya karibu a few members of the family representatives can come here maybe three or four of you ona muge kuwa ka grad child ka mweri na ka great grad child ka mweri no ega kara ka katari na thina wa guka karibu ni karibu ni hapa hapa juu kidogo Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Mungu Kwa majina naitwa Wanjiro Ngoge Jen na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Uh, kama vile tulisomewa katika historia ya wamam amefanya kazi ya guild kwa miaka 36 na, na ikaonekana hakika kweli amefanya kazi ya Mungu. Ni kupumzika amepumzika kwa hivyo tumuige na tufanye kazi ya Mungu na Bwana wabariki sana. Nitakabidhi chairlady wa wa parish haya mapambo ili naye ayakabidhi kwa mchungaji. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Yesu arogoshuo. Majina ni Eunice Wangui Kinyanjui na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na mpenda na namdhamini sababu sipokuwa ni yeye singeweza kusimama hata mbele yenu hata singekuwa na ushuhuda kwamba Yesu huokoa lakini ameniokoa na amenidumisha kwa hivyo nazidi kumtumainia sababu ni Mungu pamoja nami <clears throat> nikipokea haya mapambo ya dada yetu ama ya mama aliyepigana vita niko na shukurani moyoni mwangu sababu amepumzika akiwa jemedari amepigana vita vya imani na amekamilisha akijua pahari ya ni mama alikuwa mpole kabisa mpole mpole hangekuwa na maneno kati ya wengi lakini ukikaribia yeye ndio ungejua ni mama wako na ujasili ni a very wise lady ukiongea na yeye kwa ma, kwa mawaidha hautatoka bila kitu ukiongea na mama Olive Tuashukuru Mungu kwa kazi ambayo alifanya hapa Dr. Ada aliichangia vilivyo matoro 
yake <coughs> kama vile nguvu yake ilikuwa alikuwa anatoa kikamilifu na tunashukuru Mungu sababu amempumzisha akiwa mama wa Gil. Kwa hivyo si tunashukuru na tunaambia Mungu ni asanti kwa ile maisha na miaka ametupea mama tukaishi na e, na tukafanya kazi ya Mungu. Jina la Bwana liidmidiwa. <coughs> Nataka kuikabidhi kwa mchungaji sababu mchungaji ndiye alifanya hii gogona ya kumpea mavazi haya na sababu akimekamilisha akiwa ndani ya guild tutairudishia mchungaji ili akakabidhi familia bwana asifiwe na atukuzwe amen asanti uh, nami na yapokea haya mapambo ili niweze kuyakabidhi kwa familia e, nyinyi nyote hivi kwamba mkiaona iwe ni ishara ya mambo kadhaa jambo la kwanza sitayanena yote ni kwamba ni ishara ya jemedali wa vita ambaye amepigana vita vizuri na ameshinda and therefore may it be unto you a sign of victory ya kwamba hata nyinyi mkisongwa na mambo ya hapa duniani mtajizatiti sana kama vile mama yenu na shosho alivyojizatiti katika maisha ya imani sio rahisi karne ya ishirini na moja kuishi maisha ya uaminifu na utakatifu kwa hivyo iwe ni ishara kwenu ya kwamba watu wanapigana vita na wanashinda ishara ya pili ambayo nitakayozungumzia hizo ishara nyingine zote roho mtakatifu atawasaidia ni ishara ya kwamba mtu anaweza toa huduma na tuliubwa na tukaletwa hapa duniani ili tutoe huduma kwake Mwenyezi Mungu. This is a sign and a symbol of service. And therefore katika nyumba yenu kusikose hata mmoja na nyinyi nyota kila mtu ajizatiti kutoa huduma kwake Mwenyezi Mungu. And therefore may you go serve the Lord. We will be glad nikisikia huko Sentinians na sijui wapi kuingine na hata hapa Dr. Adha na mahali pengine ambapo mna hudumu tukisikia kwamba mnatoa huduma vile inavyopasa. Mkijua ya kwamba as you serve humanity you are serving god mwenyezi mungu awabariki awatendee mema awaongoze na awafadhili kwa hivyo muende muweke mahali ambapo mtakuwa mkiiona na katika hali ya kuiona iwe ni ishara kwenu ya mambo hayo na mengine mengi ambayo mwenyezi mungu atawasaidia kufanya kwa hivyo na sihimpokee kwa niaba ya familia may the lord god mighty bless you so much amen amen thank you you may take your seats ili akina dada wa women's guild now waweze kusimama na wachache wakuje hapa mbele ili wafunge hicho kipindi kwa wimbo Appreciate them. 
Thank you. Thank you Mungu wabariki sana. Awatendee mema na waongoze. Basi wakati huu ni inge omba tuweze kutulia vizuri. Elder Jean atatuelekeza katika usomaji wa Biblia neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu kitabu ni cha Wafilipi e, sura ni ya tatu, mstari wa saba, hadi 14 Karibu sana Kama mlivyosikia somo letu latoka katika Wafilipi wa tatu, Wafilipi tatu, mstari wa saba hadi kumi na ine. Anaye wasomea ni Jen Karigo na Yesu ni Bwana. Atasoma. Lakini mambo yale yaliyokuwa faida kwangu na na aliyesabu kuwa hasara kwa ajili ya Kristo. Naam, zaidi ya hayo na yahesabu mambo yote kuwa hasara kwa ajili ya uzuri usio na kiasi wa kumjua Kristo Yesu Bwana wangu ambaye kwa ajili yake nimepata hasara ya mambo yote nikiahesabu kuwa kama mavi ili nipate Kristo tena nionekane katika yeye nisiwe na haki yangu mwenyewe ipatikanayo kwa sheria bali ni, ni bali ile ipatikanayo kwa imani iliyo katika Kristo haki ile itaka, itokayo kwa Mungu kwa imani ili nimjue yeye na uweza wa kufufuka kwake na ushirika wa mateso yake nikifananishwa na kufa kwake ili nipate kwa njia yoyote kuifikia kiama ya wafu si kwamba nimekwisha kufika au nimekwisha kuwa uh, au, au nimekwisha kuwa mkamilifu la bali nakaza mwendo ili nipate kulishika lile ambalo kwa ajili yake nimeshikwa nime na Kristo Yesu ndugu sijadhani sija nafsi yangu kwamba nimekwisha kushika ila natenda neno moja moja tu nikiyasahau yaliyo nyuma nikiyachumilia yaliyo mbele na kaza mwendo nifikilie mende ya thawabu ya mwito mwito mkuu wa Mungu katika Kristo Yesu amen na hilo ndilo neno la Bwana amen amen asante sana elder jean kwa kutusomea vizuri basi praise and worship wa, wata tuongoza katika wimbo nasi tusimame katika program zetu pale nyuma kuna wimbo tigaware mwena wakwa kaidre worship team e, mtuongoze katika huo wimbo ili tuweze kupata nafasi ya kujitayarisha na kusikia neno lake e, mwenyezi Mungu karibuni sana ili mtuongoze katika huo wimbo Gaware mwana wa kongedo erera kosha mwana wa deshingia hotire sigawaja na gedio kanera
let us appreciate the Lord for he is good. Mfalme mwenye enzi katika jina la Yesu Kristo mbele zako twaja tukisema ni asante kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mkuu kibilio letu unategemewa katika kila jambo umetuongoza umetuhifadhi tumeona nguvu na mamlaka yako ikiwa juu yetu na sasa wakati huu twajikabidhi mikononi mwako na miguuni pwako mfalme twanyenyekea twasongea ili uweze kunena pamoja nasi uhuishe nafsi zetu tupate nguvu na mwelekeo wa maisha Tukiwa watu timilifu katika mambo ya imani nami nitakayesimama hapa bwana ninaomba unipatie roho mtakatifu ili atusaidie kulitafsiri na kulielewa neno lako liwe msaada kwetu hili ni ombi la imani katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mkobozi wa maisha yetu amen tunaweza keti bwana Yesu apewe sifa amen uh, kwa wale ambao sababu tuko na wageni wengi hatuja pata nafasi ya kukutana jina langu ni John kinyo wa konyo nampenda Yesu Kristo kama mkobozi na mwokozi wa maisha yangu Mungu mwema Mungu wa baraka ambaye aliniokoa nikiwa kijana mdogo na nikampenda sababu niligudua siri ya kwamba alinipenda kabla ni mjue Nami nikasema hiyo gharama ya upendo nitailipa kwa kumpenda vile zaidi na kila siku naongeza na napiga hatua za imani ili niwe pamoja naye na ya kwamba siku moja nitaurithi ufalme wa binguni. Bwana asifiwe. Na hudumu katika kanisa hili la Dr. Arthur parokia hii kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya wageni mara tena na wakaribisheni sana 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 katika uh, ibada hii ambayo tumealikwa Uh, na dada yetu Olive ni Mwenyezi Mungu alimtumia Olive ili uh, atualike ili tuweze kusikia kutoka kwake Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo karibuni sana kila mmoja. Basi ningependa tuingie kwenye somo lakini vile vile kabla tu, kabla tujaingia kwenye funzo la siku ya leo familia naleta pole zangu zangu na za jamii yangu Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kuwahifadhi na kuwatendea mema, aendelee kuwapa nguvu, aendelee kuwadumisha katika hiyo neema yake. Uzito wa upendo wake uwe mwingi sana juu ya mabega yenu. Mungu awabariki na awaongoze. Amen. Basi tumesomewa somo kutoka kitabu cha Wafilipi. Sura ni ya tatu, tumeanza mstari wa saba, mpaka wa nne uko na masomo mengi 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 lakini nita yachuhurikia tu machache ambayo ningependa tuweze kuyajua siku ya leo tunaishi katika ulimwengu ambao umejawa na mambo mengi mengi ambayo yanatuzingira na kila kuchao mambo yanakuwa mengi na mazito zaidi na sitaki kuwahofisha wale ambao wananisikiza siku ya leo lakini ukweli niwaambie ya kwamba kuna mambo mawili ambayo yanatendeka. Jambo la kwanza ambalo ningependa ulijue na ulifahamu fika kabisa ni kwamba nitalisema kwa kimombo alafu nilitafsiri the world is not getting any better. I want that truth to sink. The world is not going to get any better. kama ni mambo ya kiuchumi mambo itaendelea kuwa mazito zaidi kama i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm telling you what is happening kama ni mambo ya morality haitarudi ya 1960 the moral standards and values hazitarudi pale hear it from me and hear well Morality will continue becoming more and more worse. Okoro ni letra ile higogo gagira, utiragira na ujigwe wega, utikwagira. Zile siku ambazo tulikuwa mambo mengine hatuku ya tunayataja na mengine yalikuwa mbali sana nasi basi yamekuwa sasa ya karibu zaidi. I'm not prophesying doom, I'm simply saying reality. Kama ni mambo yale tulikuwa tunasikia kama ni ya kigeni sana, sasa kama haiko kwenye mlango wa kwako iko ndani. 
Bwana asifiwe. Zamani mtu kusimama na kusema ya kwamba wewe ni wa jinsia tofauti hata hugependa ujulikane. Lakini siku ya leo unaisema waziwazi na sio tu kuisema waziwazi wewe unataka kusema wewe unamuoa ni Peter anamoa James na sio tu hivyo inaletwa mpaka kwenye madhabahu na watu wanapiga makofi na wanashangilia the world is not becoming any better basi kama ni mambo ya environment tumejaribu kupambana na kuwabia watu fanyeni pandemi miti fanyeni hivi weka uchafu mahali ambapo inafaa lakini it is not becoming better actually dunia ni kama inainama tu ikisonga na ukikaa unasikia mioto mahali nchi zingine na mioto inachoma sababu ya kuharibu mazingira na vile vile hata sisi ambao tuko hapa siku zimepita zile ambazo tulikuwa tunatabiri hali ya misimu yetu ya kupanda na kuharvest siku hizi mvua inanyesha unauliza hii inanyesha wakati huu ni tupande ama ni tulime ama tugoje kidogo nikiwa mchanga kidogo kule kwenye slopes za mlima Kenya my grandfather alikuwa ananiambia ukiona butterfly zimetoka badea zikielekea mlima Kenya kutakuwa na kiagazi siji ukiona zikitoa mlima wa Kenya zikielekea badea kutanyesha na ananiambia in the next five days kutakuwa na mvua na kweli kabisa alikuwa na tabiri vizuri na mvua inapatikana na sasa anasema gojeni tu siku tatu muanze kupanda na tunapanda na mambo hiyo inatendeka siku hizi hata watabiri wa hali ya hewa wenyewe matuka na iruota idwe ganati wa doa gai if you are expecting the world to become better and better pole sana nitakupea suruhisho baadaye the world is not becoming better jua mliogezewa mafuta kidogo na inaweza teremka kidogo lakini baadaye itarudi tu the world is not becoming better na mimi sijasema kitu msinikuote kama unatarajia ya kwamba covid inaenda aiendi pengine naweza punguza makali wakati tutafika ile mnaita hard immunity lakini who knows kama kuna kuwa na covid ya aina nyingine itakuja baadaye after miaka kumi. bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo tarisha mkono kuchanjwa mara kadhaa amae professing doom no i'm saying the reality why am i saying this ni waelekeze ya kwamba alafu ni wafunze hayo mambo kwenye biblia we are all moving ni sema kwa kimombo alafu ni tafsiri we are all moving to what i'm calling the point of convergence hii inaharibika hivi hii ingine hivi hii ingine hivi zote tuna move tunaelekea mahali pa kushikana sababu kitambo tulikuwa na mambo mengi umejibebea hapa na pale na pale actually kitambo watu walijuana huko 1920s na huko mbele walijuana kwa majina na huyu ni neighbor wa huyu na huyu mwingine ikafika mahali nikakuta picha za mzee wangu ambaye alinilea akiwa alikuwa anafunga ingine hapa walikuwa naita kipande baadaye tukapata ID card na habari dio hiyo na wengine wenu mkabeba kitabu kubwa cha bank wakati nilikuwa mdogo sana nikijitayarisha ku, ku, kuwa sasa ya kwamba nimekomaa na ninataka kuhisi joto kidogo ya kwamba mimi ni citizen nilikuwa na ile ya posta ilikuwa na peji mingi sana kitabu ya bank ninanena na mtu Muna kubuka basi ikaenda hivyo ikakuja kakadike gine hapo wabako ni kakaratasi lakini ni sawa tu na kitaburisho dio hiyo na mambo hayo mengine dio hiyo tukielekea finally siku hizi iko ka ATM kadogo hivi ukisimama na ukuta na mkionena vizuri na ukuta mali inatoka si dio hiyo 
Bas na kitaburisha sasa nayo imekuwa hivi driving license nayo imekuwa hivi nini ingine iko hivyo passport ilikuwa kitabu siku hizi hivyo tukielekea na as if that is not enough na sina shida na mimi na hiyo sasa hizo zote NHIF NSSF tukadi tukadi tudogo 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 finally what is so wrong please don't misquote me iko wapi ubaya kuiweka hizo zote kwa kakadi kamoja iko wapi shida iko wapi shida ya kuweka title deed zako hapo in 20 years to come in 40 years to come proti ukinunua tuna feed kwa computer una swipe kadi tunaziweka dani zote hivi kwamba ukitaka kusema title deed ni yako tunamulika elder kaleu inaonyesha kakadi tu kamoja kakadi tu kamoja tukimulika tunasema wewe ni NHIF compliant NSSF compliant na mambo hiyo ingine yote wakati hiyo uchumi bado unaendelea kusonga environment bado inaharibika morality siku hizo karibu watu wakuje na bikini kwa kanisa miaka ijayo i'm preparing you for the worst finally the world is basically coming to a point of convergence na mwisho utafika boom before you know it sijui miaka mingapi mimi sijui lakini watakatifu wakati huo tutakuwa wapi revelation siku moja katika bible study ya nyumba kwetu mwenye alikuwa naogoza bible study akasema basi na wale waaminifu ama wale ambao ni righteous continue being righteous akaendelea kutufunza na kama wewe ni muaganu agana zaidi tuko pale revelation 22 tukienda kufunga as we move towards point ile naita ya convergence kama wewe ni mtedadhabi endelea kuteda kabisa semeni kabisa hamtaki kunena ni dada yetu ananena leo olive sio mimi aliwakusanyisha nyinyi nyote kama wewe ni mtedadhabi endelea kufanya nini kama unaiba mali ya uma usiibe kidogo iba kabisa kabisa ukiwa umejitolea hapana uma kidogo kidogo kama unaogopa kula vizuri lakini kama wewe ni muombaji na wewe ni mtakatifu na mteule basi be totally committed kabisa kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu anategeneza ile tunaita a point of no i mean a demarcation line a distinction line kati ya wateule na watenda dhambi as the world becomes more worse and more worse bwana asifiwe sababu mimi ningependa mchukue pande hii ingine ya kutenda mema basi paulo anatuambia kitu anasema kuna mambo ambayo ya dunia alikuwa ameashikilia kidogo kidogo akaona ni ya maana sana 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 kwake lakini wakati aligundua na akaona tunakuja mazishi ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu tukiendelea na yeye akaangalia na akaona ya kwamba basi umri unasonga akaanza kubadili ile tunaita values za maisha akagundua hii mambo sio ya maana tena hii mambo sio ya manufaa kwangu mara tena hii mambo inaweza ondokewa kuna kitu kingine ambacho ni cha maana zaidi na ndicho ningependa kujishikia hicho akasema basi mimi yale nilikuwa na hesabu ya maana sana kama kusoma sana sababu alikuwa a learned friend e, amefunzwa na mwalimu ambaye mwenye tajriba kuu alikuwa anaitwa Gamarieli akaona hiyo ni bure kabisa akakumbuka vile alipozaliwa katika a chosen e, tribe na akaona hata hiyo haimsaidii akaangalia mambo mengi sana na kazi nyingi mpaka na hesabu ile inaitwa zeal the passion to persecute na kusimamia ile tunaita religion akaona hiyo passion yenye nilikuwa nayo na zile yenye niko nayo akahesabu zote akasema ni bure akaliganisha ile tunaita situational analysis akaifanya akasema amehesabu hizo zote akaziweka upande wa hasara lakini upande wa faida akaweka kitu kingine kwa mkono wake wa kulia 
na ndipo tumesomewa hapo akaliganisha mali masomo vieo na mambo hayo yote yote akaangalia vile umri umemsonga na vile huduma iko he had a moral shift akapata ku shift vile ambavyo mtazamo wake wa dunia uko na unajua wakati unazeka unajua ukiwa mdogo na wanalika ambao wako hapa wanisikie kuna mambo unaona kama ni ya dhamana sana na ni ya maana na ni ya manufaa sana na ukiambiwa usiyafanye unaona kama hupendwi wazazi ama wale wamekomaa waki, wakiangalia unaona kama hawaelewi wanasema nini lakini wakati umri inaendelea kupiga piga wewe sasa maisha inabadilika na kuna mmoja alitoaambia kwanza unajua unakaribia kwenda ukiona wale ambao walikufanyia kazi za muhimu za zamaana katika maisha hawamo tena ukuhesabu hivi hivi na ni vizuri kuwa ukihesabu nilipata ufunuo wakati huo yule mchungaji ambaye alinibatiza hayuko yule headmaster ambaye alikuwa anakufunza primary hayuko nani mwingine yule ambaye alishikanisha doa yako ukiangalia wadi kereria hayuko ukianza kuona watu wao ambao walikufanyia mambo ya maana 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 katika maisha yako milestones za maisha eh yule ambaye alifanya ile ingine hayuko ukiangalia hivyo yule principal wa high school ukiulizia sana aliendanga sasa unajua ume, umeanza kuzeeka anza kujitayarisha you might be the next sasa wakati paulo alipoangalia hivyo na kuna watu hapa ambao ni orphans kabisa hao watu wote wameshaenda kitambo wale wabao walikutendea mambo ya maana katika maisha yako lakini jambo la maana paulo akaanza kugudua kube hii mambo yote ni bure ni hasara actually huwa naogopa kuangalia hayo masomo kwa Kiswahili lakini wacha niangalie tu sababu sio mimi niliandika mstari wa 8 hebu sikiza naam zaidi ya hayo na ya hesabu mambo yote kuwa hasara kwa ajili ya uzuri usio na kiasi wa kumjua Kristo Yesu Bwana wangu situation analysis akaweka mambo hapa na ujuzi ama uzuri usio na kiasi wa kumjua Yesu Kristo pande ingine akaweka kwenye mizani akalinganisha mali masomo majina tajika vieo na hizo vitu zote na ni mzuri zote tupate lakini wakati aziweka kwenye mizani pande hii abu fanyeni pande hii mkono wako kushoto na usikonge huyo mwingine fanya hivi fanya hivi kama unaweka kwenye mizani aha akaweka hapa kwenye mizani sasa si unaona mali yako hebu angalia bank account ndio hiyo unaweka kwenye mizani hebu angalia masomo na ni mzuri musome zaidi aha akaweka ndereni kufanya hivi usichoke akaweka nini ingine cheo na mpate vio mpate kabisa haya ndio hiyo akaweka basi uchukua mkono hii mwingine uzuri wa kumjua Kristo bwana asifiwe akaweka pande hii weka mkono chini unajua alisema nini akasema mambo yote ni kiahesabu kuwa kama mavi That is a strong word ambayo sitaki kurudia tena. Ili nipate Kristo. Yaani imagine hayo yote mniruhusu nitumie ya kimobo sababu sijazeeka sana kama ningekuwa mzee wa miaka sabini, ningetumia hiyo jina mara mbili. Lakini sasa nitumie tu mara moja. Lakini nitumie kwa kimombo. I count it as a re, as refuse. Nitagiko keu yetu oguo kuligida ni ya o weka no ugeweka. Hebu fanyeni hivi. Sema refuse ni mkono wa kushoto ile uliweka kwenye mkono wa kushoto mnaikumbuka masomo mali nini hiyo yote hebu fanya hivi e, ipee jina hata nyinyi hamjazeka mtaki kuipea hiyo jina ingine ndio hiyo akaiweka hivi na ni kitu kimagi hii akaweka hasara hebu sema kumjua Yesu akasema hii ndio faida <laughs> bwana asifiwe ugo moro era ite na moro wevyo lakini mkumbuke ni nini ni hiyo Ni sijaambia mtu kitu. I'm simply saying the world is not becoming better. The perspective of this theologian and philosopher ikabadilika. 
akaweka akagasema wanalika siku hizi juu mmetoa mtaniambia mlitoa mlitoa hii maneno wapi juzi sijui galiweka galisema ni gali hiyo wakasema wakaona kube hii ni bure lakini akiliganisha na kumjua Yesu akaona ni ya maana akasema nitazingatia pale nitashikilia pale nitakufia hapo haleluya sababu hii dio ya maana dio ya faida haina hasara anatuelezea mambo mengine wacha niyasema mambo manne akasema basi mimi najitahidi zaidi ili nimjue huyu Yesu kwa sababu hii yote nimeweka kando na niyasara na hii dio ya faida ukijua kitu ni cha faida you specialize did you hear that you specialize you start getting to know more and more about ile ambayo inaleta faida kwako unaweka kando ile ya hasara why should you bother kushughulika na ile ya hasara basi akasema kwenye mstari wa kumi, ili nimjue huyu Yesu zaidi my concentration will be on Christ my eating will be Christ my drinking will be Christ my sleeping will be Christ my waking up will be Christ he specialized haleluya wakati ali specialize hivyo akasema ili nijue mambo manne hebu semeni manne haya manne nikiyasema niketi na muyajue hata nyinyi hata mimi niyajue zaidi akasema kwanza niweze kujua the power of his resurrection the power of his resurrection ili uweza wakufufuka kwake akasema hiyo ndio ya kwanza hii nataka kujua kabisa na nyinyi mtake kujua zaidi sababu masomo hayatafufuka hii imenyamaza masomo hayatafufuka ama ni dega inapita Masomo hayatafufuka. Mali haitafufuka. I don't mean to be rude. Lakini tukienda pale chini muangalie dada yetu Olive. Najua alikuwa na mambo mingi 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 mingi, mingi hivyo. Muangalie ameenda na kipande cha mchanga kiasi gani. Mali haitafufuka. Haitaenda beyond the grave. Bwana asifiwe. Ara siku hizi kuna wale ambao wanajifanya ati wanarudi bado kwa religion wengine wanaingia kwenye dhehebu zingine ambazo hazijielewi na wakati wa mazishi wanakuja wanasema huyu alikuwa anavuta vitu vingine tulikuwa tunavuta na yeye wacha tumwekee kwenye shimo aedange akivutanga na anafunikwa nazo mume unajua tumeona mengi acha niwaambie muende mtavute court order baada ya wiki tatu mfukue hapo mtakuta haja vuta na ndiko futa ila futa fagishio na ido ile ngee na wengine wanamwekea mpaka tuchupa aende akikunywanga alikuwa wa monyota muweze kut order dhuda wa wiki shikana mutakuta iko hapo haja kunywa hallo ugayoshio ni ulimu ile kitu paulo alisema ni jue the power behind the resurrection of jesus na sitaelezea zaidi kwa sababu the moment you know that power you start realizing everything else is nothing nothing kitu cha pili alisema anataka kujua na awe mmoja wepo katika huo msali wa kumi ni fellowship of sharing in his suffering ah this is powerful fellowship of sharing in his suffering ushirika wa mateso yake ni msali huo wa kumi akasema sababu hii ni hasara sasa nataka kujua ushirika wa mateso yake na hapo ndipo wa Kristo wa karne ya moja, hapo hatutaki kamwe where you can suffer for Christ oh no there are few people siku ya leo ukitaka kujua kwenye dhehebu lolote ambalo unatoka kwake kanisa lolote ambalo unahudhuria waacha mchungaji wa kwenu aseme kuna trip ya watu ambapo tunaweza enda tupitie Kisumu turudi hivi tupitie Kisi tuteremke Mombasa turudi na kuru kanisani kila mtu ambaye angependa kujiadikisha ajiadikishe mchugaji ole wako kanisa la SK umoja litajaa utatafuta mabasi ya kupeleka watu trip 
waende Kisumu, wapitie Kisi, waende hivi Masai Mara mpaka Mombasa na warudi Nakuru ama umoja Nairobi. Wata utatafuta mabasi mingi sana. Jaribu useme mwenye anataka kujadikisha sababu tutaenda siku tatu kwenye mlima kwenye maombi na basi ziko tayari ziko pale nje ushirika katika mateso ya Kristo wa Kristo hamtaki lakini kukibishana na vieo na mali na nini tuko na bawani yani Niko tu radira dura kwa ya ruge odho kutoro de mulira dire ra kora muno koro de wa miaka 70 igia muhe horo muno ah gona ru ndira kwa magari ni mako muhe ani ni ta muthuri ugo we na cia na igire ihe ke mwene tinija denyanania na mai that is tough this man is opening our minds he was a great theologian and a philosopher yani nikibishana na hii hii takataka zaidi ya ile ambayo itanipea uzima wa milele Hello I want to know the fellowship of sharing in his suffering Are you ready to suffer for Christ Dada yetu I'm sure kuna mambo kadhaa where she suffered for Christ I'm sure of that Na kuingi tutasimama tutahesabiwa wanyonge tutahesabiwa wasiojua tutahesabiwa wengine ambao hawana katongoli ya mzuri lakini you must be ready to suffer for Christ bwana asifiwe haleluya how many are ready la tatu nimesema ni nne mstari tuo huo huo tu wa kumi anasema nataka becoming like him in death niwe kama nifananishwe na kufa kwake Paulo anasema katika kifo cha Yesu mimi nifananishwe hivyo nataka kumjua zaidi number 1 nijue the power behind his resurrection number 2 fellowship in his suffering three nifananishwe katika kifo chake nife kama yeye a righteous man praise the name of the lord a righteous man I die like him studying for the truth studying for the truth nikiwa nimesimamia ukweli finally anaruka mstari wa 11 anasema hapa nafanya hii yote ili nipate kwa jia yoyote kufikia kiama ya wafu praise the name of the lord kufikia kiama ya wafu to attain resurrection from the dead hiyo mambo mengine yote ndio maana sasa anahesabu ni bure ni hasara sababu only one goal semeni only one goal kufufuka kama kristo hiyo ndio anataka afikie hiyo afufuliwe vile kristo alivyofufuliwa hiyo ndio anataka wa Kristo kama uko na any other goal you are lost listen to me and listen good the world will not become better and for that reason just have one goal ukiwa na goal moja pale mbali wale wanatufunza hii maneno ni moja tu kufufuka kama Kristo lazima uweke mikakati basi hapa katikati kati yako na hapo yale ambayo utakuwa smaller goals za kufika pale and some tasks ambazo utafanya majukumu fulani ambayo utakayoyafanya ili ufikie hilo lengo kuu bwana asifiwe there are things that you have to set and say this is what i live for ili nifikie ile lengo kuu na hii ingine sitaki hii itanicherewesha kwenye safari hii itanicherewesha katika lengo kuu. Lengo kuu ni kufufuka kama Kristo, lakini tunajua ya kwamba kuna wale ambao hawatafufuka kama yeye. Kwa sababu gani? Hilo halikuwa lengo lao. Malengo yao yalifika kikomo hapa ulimwenguni. It's my prayer that our sister Olive 
will rise again with Christ one day. Siku ya parapanda na tarubeta ya muisho. Forget about Olive. Yeah, has key. What about you? Je, will you be found in the land of living? Do you have hope beyond the river of death? Hilo ndilo lengo lako kweli? Unaweza kuwa na malengo hapa, kununua kaproti na nikazuri mununue kabisa na mjege nyumba mzuri. Kumaliza masomo hata mimi naendelea na masomo na soma, kufanya hiyo yogine yote fanya. But all this should help you to focus on one thing to be found in the land of the living. Paulo akasema mimi katika mambo hiyo yote mmesikia nikiyasema nataka nifufuke kama Kristo. Hallelujah. Sijui ni wangapi basi watafuka kama ye. na kama huku na huwa mtazamo bas anza kuupata siku ya leo Olive amekuhubiria hivyo. In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Najua mara mingi huwa hatuulizi hii lakini tunaweza kuwa kuna mmoja kwa mazishi sana sana sababu tunakuanga kwa hema na tumechomeka na jua. Sasa mlifanya vizuri mkaja hapa mlijileta. Sasa uko pahali pale. You have got no hope beyond the grave. Usiseme ni siku ya mazishi. Biashara ingine ya fadhali isimame tusikane. Si hata wale wanazikananga five. Jua liki inama pande ile ni watu. Botak rekodo mulemadi doketwa beto hoe na tuzigo ikara muno okoro ne kwenda kohonokio ne Jesu si winue mkono kama ungependa kupokea Yesu Kristo awe mwokozi wa maisha yako ili ukue kama Paulo ili ujue guvu za kufuka kwake and then you fellowship in his suffering alafu ukae kama yeye ufananishwe naye katika hali ya matendo ya hapa duniani and finally you attain the resurrection are you there you do want to give your life to Jesus Christ is there such a person basi na tuombe. Asante Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya neema yako na nguvu zako. Asante kwa sababu ya neno lako. Kiugoge ya kumwadhani kiraka iga nota awe. Niwekaga manene. Niwegoshidagia nakio. Na sasa tujikabidhi mikono ni mwako tukiomba uendelee kunawilisha hilo neno katika mioyo yetu na nafsi zetu ili tusaidie kuwa watu ambao ni wepesi wa kuelewa neno lako. Na zaidi tumekuwa watu timilifu katika mambo ya imani. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba kushukuru na kuamini. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Basi ningependa kualika familia. Nuclear and exceded. Tunaweza piga foreni hapa kama laini bili. Uh, ili eh, mchugaji Jane awakabidhi mikono ni mwake Mwenyezi Mungu. So karibuni sana family members ili hilo ombi liweze kufanywa na mchugaji Jane. Welcome. Nie nengoenda ngayo menya ningen newe wachugaji na wazee wa kanisa tutawazingira ka wenya nao kanyenda higoshi keep coming keep coming Just come.
pia sisi kanisa tusimame na ili tuombe jamii tusimame zote dipoza tulikuja na ili tukasimame pamoja na wao na tuombe baba wetu umetukuka juu ya miungu yote makerubi na maserafi wote wa kuinamia akisema mtakatifu mtakatifu bwana wa majeshi nasi tukiwa hapa chini wale ambao liwaumba kwa njia zako after your own image and likeness tuko mahali hapa Mungu wetu leo tumekusanyika katika kanisa hili kwa sababu we mwenyewe umetenda jambo umechukua mama wetu umechukua shosho wetu maito na baba wetu imekupendeza kutenda hayo kazi wakati nyama na mwili zaachana uchungu uko mahali pale lakini kitu kimoja twakushukuru kwa sababu yacho ni kwa sababu mama wetu nyokabi alijuana na mwokozi akamumlikia na sasa twajua ya kwamba ako pamoja na yeye milele ithe wa mwadhani wito Jesu Kristo nitwagi uka oha umagurini maku mwadhani nitodo idu gutiri hedi turi twa kenerera giku kana tukamenyerera giku mwadhani ga ithe wito goroshia dwa ya marugamite bere ito magathiruru kirioni athuri na na akanitha na tugateri mwadhani goroshia one ikire na guo ya na ihoru mwadhani noni atirere mwadhani atwirire rai asio matare na hinya makigie na hinya maguru macio maraina ina magakirwo magie na hinya na momo ko macio matare na hinya gei witu makiamukire hinya no guo nikyo giatuma turugame kanitha ithuothe na ngira tuhoere cia naishi na ndereno ya nyoka fi mwathani ati nime kuhurukia mamua ona matikamwo na rege no ithe witu ni ugukorwo hamwe nao ni ukumagitira ni ukumamenyera matire mathi thafare no rege matire mainu kama gakora maito wa odare kuo mwadhani ne twenda kuhoya ati umarute gaithe witu kuma ihidare makiuma kigogona inege kigiaku umarute mwadhani guikana matare na mamu wao riagwa twikatao mwaki wa maito wa hora ni kugiaga na nyamukano ni kugiaga na dogo shabania na korora na odogi no family no todo maito wao arare mudhirito witu ni araburete jesu ni mwadhani na niwe ugeti ati ona rushia ro ruito ni rukarathimo itikira kumarathima itikira kumahe orumwe itikira gutwarana nao tondu aria othe utwaranaga nao acio ni mahotaga mwadhani ni tuoka harewe na nigetha iroto iria shirotagwo mwadhani mudu arikia gukua umehanereria mwadhani umehanereria national ni twashituaga theini waritwa na thakame ya jesu na tuga ate gaithe witu aya magithie kuhuruka riu na kuhurukia maitu wao na kuhuruka miturire yao ya mithiba mingi baba wetu wa binguni utakuwa pamoja na wao wasingire na wingu lako la utukufu wasingine na, na damu yako takatifu kwa sababu hiyo ya tosha yote baba wetu tunakusifu tunakupenda na tunajua wakutupenda zaidi katika ukubi huu katika kanisa hili kuko na wao pia wako na majonzi kuko na wale walizika jana na wako pia karibu kuzika wiki jao ya kwamba utawahuhisha nafsi zao na utasimama pamoja na wao tutie nguvu na ili tuweze kusimama imara kama vile paulo alijua yote it is vanity of vanities nasi tusimame chonjo tukikugojea bwana wetu pokeeni nguvu pokeeni uweza kwa sababu mambo ambayo yako mbele yenu mutongorio ni roho mtakatifu wa bwana katika jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu na zote tuseme Amen bwana awabariki. Amen amen unaweza keti Mungu awabariki. Basi tunapoketi tumekuwa katika ibada na katika hii ibada uh, ni kwamba kila wakati watu wanapokusanyika kwenye ibada huwa wana mshukuru na kumtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu they worship God with their substance eh, with their offerings lakini hizi tutazibarikishia jamii pengine hata uko hapa na hujapata nafasi ya kuwabariki so it's an opportunity as we worship God with our offerings eh, ambazo baadaye zita 
enda kwa jamii ujitayarishe katika kufanya hivyo uh, baadaye zitapokelewa na elder uh, mrs uh, wainaina uh, ili ataziombea kwa hiyo umekaribishwa sana vikapu viko hapa hatutaki kuja huko huko sababu ya vile misimu iko na majira ya covid 19 uh, then that can happen and maybe you have it in your mpesa nitaomba nitapewa hiyo namba nitaitangaza as we do that ili nipewe hiyo namba ya somebody may na familia msizuie watu kuwa baraka kwenu so you give me that number ambayo mnafikiri inaweza wekwa hiyo mali maybe there is somebody who may want to be to do it through mpesa mekaribishwa sana we can start with this uh, this row ya katikati na hii katikati alafu tuende zile za mwisho karibuni kama ungependa kutumia Mpesa namba ni hii nitaisoma 2 itatoa jina leo ya Kemani. Asanteni as we continue worshiping the Lord with our substance. Mfalme mwema katika jina la Yesu Kristo tu mbele zako tena na sifa na shukurani kutoka ndani ya mioyo yetu Asante mfalme mwema kwa kutupa wakati kama huu mzuri hivi ili tukabariki watu wako mkungu mwema walionyosha mkono kuili kutenda kazi hii wahifadhi na hata uwalinde uzidi kuwaongezea Mungu wetu ili wakazidi kusimama na jamii zingine kama hizi Asante kwa vile ambavyo umetutendea na hata umenena pamoja nasi zidi kuinua mioyo ya jamii hii mfalme hata hapo wanapoendelea kuishi bila mama yao hizi 
fedha mfalme kazi takazo tenda hebu zikawa ni za sifa na utukufu wa jina lako wanapozitumia Mungu hebu zikawa faraja kwao na zikazidi kuwapa amani na tukazidi kuwaongezea twazibarikisha zote mikononi mwako tukisema kwamba wewe ni Mungu na utaishi kuitwa Mungu sasa na hata milele na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo toomba na hata kuamini amen, amen. tuketi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah nimesimama tena kwa sababu na matangazo mawili matatu ambayo nataka kunena wakati huu. La kwanza ni ya kwamba wa mama wa Women's Guild watabebwa na basi kwa hivyo nilikuwa jitayarisha mahali basi ilipo ili tukaandamana kwa pamoja na wa mama wakaingia kwenye ile basi kwenda upande wa makaburi. Ah, tangazo la pili ni ya kwamba leo tunakuwa na ushirika wetu wa Jumatano. Hatutakuwa na ushirika huo kwa sababu ya kazi iliyoko mbele yetu. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri tujue vile na tuwajulisha wale ambao hawakuja ili wasije na kutukosa na jambo hilo halitakuwa nzuri kwao. Kwa hivyo hatutakuwa na ushirika wetu leo wa Jumatano bali tutakutana wakati mwingine Mungu akitujalia. Tangazo la tatu ni ya kwamba Jumatano ah, Jumapili ni vyema tujiandae wa mama wa Women's Guild tunahitajika nani wa mama wote si wa Women's Guild peke yao tutakutana baada ya ibada ya pili kwa hivyo tujiandae vile hata kama utakuja ibada ya kwanza jitayarishe kuwa pamoja nasi katika ibada ya pili na Mungu awabariki Asante asante sana uh, Elda Vainaina basi uh, wakati huu uh, ningependa kumkaribisha Catherine mbaye kwa niaba ya familia atapeana vote of thanks karibu bwana yesu asifiwe Bwana asifiwe mara tena kama nilivyowaambia majina ni Catherine Jerry Kamau kutoka Thika. Uh, nataka kusema ya kwamba aliye mbele yetu kwangu ninamuita Hero. Niko naelezea mzee wangu na mwambia mwenye tunazika sababu mjui vita kama namjua huyu ni Jemedari ameshinda. Kwa hivyo nataka kutoa shukrani zetu kama jamii kama familia tunataka kushukuru Mungu sana sana sana. Haleluya kwa sababu ya kutuba shangazi yetu mama wetu na miaka ile alipozaliwa ninajua ya kwamba walizaliwa wakiwa watoto wengi wengi hata hawakuona jua wengine walikufa wakiwa wanarika wengine walizikwa hata bila watoto lakini Mungu amejitubariki sana akatupa anti yetu miaka sabini na tano haleluya hizo shukurani ni za Mungu wetu kwa sababu hakika ametutenda mema. Nataka tuchukue dakika moja tu. Inua mikono yako miwili. Pigie Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Mwambie ni asanti. Asanti Mungu. Asanti Jehova. Asanti Baba yetu. Hizo shukurani ni kwa Mungu. Hakika ametubariki kama jamii na tunashukuru sana. Shukurani zingine tunataka kutoa kwa jamii ya Johnson, mke wake na hata watoto. Hakika tumejua vile amesimama nasi si kwa anti peke yake kwa mambo mengine yamekuwa pale kwa hivyo Bwana abariki sana we are short of words Mungu atende mema kuna wengine nao tungetaka kushukuru watoto wa anti tangia mlipozaliwa na anti mmetembea na yeye sijaisikia siku moja anti akilaani mtoto wake kwa vile mmekuwa wa karibu sana na yeye na msaada kwake Bwana Yesu apate kuwabariki watoto wata, wa aunti wetu na hata wajukuu wake na wale great grandchildren Bwana abariki Shukrani zingine ni kwa brothers and sisters wale wamezaliwa pamoja na yeye Tunasema ya kwamba Bwana Yesu apate kuwabariki Mmesimama na dada yenu vilivyo kadri alivyo mapenzi ya Bwana Bwana abariki Shukrani zingine ni kanisa la PCA Dr. Ada na kanisa la St. Ninians. Bwana awabariki. Mmetufariji. Mmetupa vitu vyenu. Mmetupa ushirika. Mmetuonyesha upendo. 
Bwana Yesu apate kuwabariki. Ah, shukrani zingine ni kwa Women's Guild. Hata leo tunaona vile mmerebeka kwa sababu mnataka ah, hii baada ya anti wetu iende vizuri. Bwana wetu apate kuwabariki. Wakati anti alitoka hapa alienda kule Ngashula na kuna watu alipata kule. Kwa hivyo tunataka kush, kush, uh, kushukuru sana community ile ya kule Ngashula. Wakati tulienda pale kuna mama tulipata huko wakipika chai, wakitukaribisha na wamefanya kazi nzuri. Uh, pokeni uh, shukrani zetu tunashukuru sana Bwana awatende mema. Kuna shukrani zingine pia tuko nazo za Moro Line uh, for transport wametupa gari kutoka nyumbani kwenda PNN tuko hapa nao tutatembea kule na walituhidi ya kwamba wataturudisha kwenye walitutoa sio ni jambo mzuri tuwapigie makofi jameni bwana wabariki sana pokeni shukrani zetu kuna madaktari ambao walikuwa nahudhuria anti alikuwa wakati alikuwa hospitali kama wako pia wapoke uh, shukrani zetu we are short of ones uh, kuna committees zilikuwa zinakutana moja ya nyumbani na ingine hapa town bwana yesu apate kuwabariki tumejua ya kwamba mmesimama nasi kwa hakika shukrani zingine ni kwa watumishi wetu hakika kama watumishi hawange kuja sijui kungekuwa namna gani bwana asifiwe i'm a minister I'm one of them najua vile kunaendaga wanaomba wanaomba wanafariji unaitwa hapa unaitwa pale na siku leo ya leo kupatikana kwenu najua mmejitoa muhanga bwana awabariki sana kio kiage ikiwa adhini wa ifukuria mara ka 7 verse 2 ate nikafa kanwa ka mudhejeri gai ka getweka kige na kiao menyo nigetha adu magerage utarani kuleo hakika you are treasure to us Tumekuja kufarijiwa na nyinyi mmetufariji mmetulisha neno hakika bwana wa amani apate kuwabariki uh, shukrani za mwisho ni kwa yeyote ambaye si kutaja pengine nimekusahau pale naomba unisamehe lakini pokea shukrani zangu kama jamii tuko na furaha na tunaomba ya kwamba mungu wa amani apate kuwabariki Kitabu cha Wagaratia kinasema ya kwamba that God is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that he shall reap. Mmepanda kwetu. Mmepanda upendo. Mmepanda mali yenu. Mmepanda kutuvumilia. Our God is not mocked. That you shall reap. Inawezekana kwamba hatuwezi kualipa. Lakini mungu wanaeona katika siri apate kuwabariki. Bwana wabariki, awatende mema, tunawapenda sana, atumeshukuru. Asante sana, hata ya mwenyezi mungu wakubariki na kuungoze kwa sababu ya kusimamia jamii hivi vizuri. Uh, basi, tunakaribia kikomo na sasa hatua bawe mebakia ni uh, kutoka hapa na kuenda pale uh, South Cemetery, mahali ambapo tutapumzisha dada yetu vile ambavyo tutatoka ni hivi ya kwamba tutaongozwa tu na Biblia vile tulikuja uh, na wale tuliokuwa nao vestre tutarudi sababu sio kubwa sana haiwezi eh, shika watu wengi uh, na family tuwapatie nafasi ya kwanza wa tufuate tu image 3 after mchugaji eh, munifuate ili wawe wakiingia kwenye magari yao uh, sababu tukependa wasicherewe sana kufika pande ile Na haa wengine wote, eh, vile ambavyo tulikuja, pegine kama ukona gari, you can, you can eh, hike a ride mtu moja ama wawili kama ukona nafasi, na wale ambao wakona common means. Ma, mapenzi yetu ni kwamba tupatikane hapo sisi wote, jinsi tulivyo. Watu wakati mwingine huwa wanakuja kanisani, lakini ikifika sasa ni kwenda kwenye makaburi, mnakuta 70% haikuja, ni 30% na jamii tu wako pande ule. So, Ni himizo tu ya kwamba ni vizuri sisi wote e, tu, kwanza tuzitoke, sijapea na rusa ya kutoka. A, ni himizo tu ya kwamba sisi wote tutapatikana upande ule na siyo mbali ni hapa tu. Na haita chukua mudamurefu 
na hatuwezi kutengeneza ibada ingine pale ati utasema utachereweshwa hapana kwa hivyo tutashirikiana pamoja na jamii si ndio hiyo si mtapatikana huko eh tutafanya hivyo kwa hivyo nitauliza worship team wakuje hapa watuongoze kwa wimbo ili tureje wachache tuliokuwa vestry tureje hapo familia munifuate ili tuanze kuingia kwenye magari hawa watu wengine alafu baadaye tufuate ili tuelekee upande huo wa makaburi asante na ninawashukuru unyinyi wote kwa kuwa watulivu na wema bwana wabariki sana amen
tugete kia twawana amuga inya tuire oku atogode kagera mushie igoro ka jesu netogashe mani
arudi kwake sasa tumeweka mwili wake mavumbini vumbi irudi mavumbini majivu yarudi majivuni na mchanga urudi mchangani sasa tumailia kwamba olive atafufuka awe na uzima wa milele kwa ajili ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Yesu alisema mimi dini ukufuo na mimi dini uzima yule anayelitumainia hata akifa ataishi na wote walio hai wanaonitumainia hawatakufa kamwe basi tuamini na tuombe baba mwenyezi katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe Mungu wetu wa neema ulie mtuma mwanao mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo aje atufungulie njia ya kuingia kwenye uzima wa milele tunakushukuru tukiwa na furaha kwa vile ulishinda nguvu za kifo kwa ajili ya kufufuka na kufika kwako kwenye utukufu Ukatuvumbulia sisi watu wote waaminio ufalme wa mbinguni. Naomba sasa utuongezee imani tujue kwamba kwa kuwa Yesu Kristo ataishi milele hata nasi tutaishi. Na kuwa kifo na vitu vilivyo sasa na vile vitakavyokuja baadaye hakuna chochote kitaweza kututeganisha na upendo wako ulio ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Ewe Bwana kwa, kwa sababu sasa wewe ni Mungu uishie milele wenye neema kuu kwa kusihi watazame kwa huruma zako na kwa upendo matumishi wako hapa wa familia wana marafiki walio na uzuni kwa sababu ya kuitwa kwa rafiki huyu wao wape nguvu na uvumilivu ambao uliyetwa na Yesu Kristo na uwafute machozi waongezee imani na matumaini ili wa mtumainie Yesu Kristo aliyeshinda kifo na kuzima wakati alipofufuka kutoka kwa wafu na wagojee kwa utulivu kani watakapopatana tena na marafiki zao walio watangulia wewe muumba wetu usie kubali nafsi za watoto wako zitosheke na maisha hapa duniani naomba ya kwamba utubariki sasa utuongoze na utupe nguvu kubali tutoke dunia hii bila kasoro yoyote tukiwa washirika wa kanisa lako tukiwa na imani kamili na tukiwa na tumaini ewe Mungu 
tuje tuingie katika ufalme wako wa milele na milele tumeomba hayo katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wetu aliyetufunza tukikutana tunaomba baba wetu liye mbinguni jina la kutukuze ufalme wako uje enzi yako yatimizwe hapa duniani kama uko mbinguni tutupele usiku usaini makosa yetu amenisha sasa wazee wa kanisa na wachungaji tutapiga hatua nyuma alafu sasa family members waje tuanze na wale nuclear nitapeana kwa vipengere kwa vipengere tuanze na wale nuclear makaribie hapa sababu nafasi sio kubwa sana Ah, uh, wakidetwa na wale ambao wanawasaidia. Sasa tume ni vile children. Wakuje, yani tu. Wapewe mchanga wakae wameshika. Ndiye ni watu wa familia. Nitawapea kwa kwa vikundi vikundi vikundi. Ajoe hapo. Ajoe hapo. Ajoe. Haya, wapatie hiyo hiyo. Usije nyote nitawapea kwa vikundi vikundi leo ni siku yenu lazima ni hakikisha kwamba kila mmoja ame acha kwanza tutoke hao haya sasa kwa pamoja in unity one two go thank you haya hao wasome nyuma ni pewe group nyingine bado ya family the second group ya family Mwakuje. 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 Pole pole tu, pole pole tu. Mwakuje. 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 Sasa, haku hiyo wa saidiwe sasa kidogo. Niyo apiane na pasi kidogo. Mwakuje. Mwakuje. Haya na nyinyi kwa pamoja wa mtu go. Thank you, thank you. Hao wengine bado family ni kubwa. Sio na haraka nitawapeleka pole pole. Haya. Apewe mchanga msirushe kwanza msirushe. Hiyo heshima lazima iwe. Ile tu msijali. Ipeni nguvu. Haya. Basi kwa pamoja wa mtu go. Thank you God bless you. God bless you. Mwingine yote wa familia baya mebaki ya kuja ya pige foleni hapa musirushe. Hapana kusha siri. Yee ni tu. Any other family member akuje. Ok, sawa. Oje hao tupeane nguvu. Mabu inaitaji. Aya, one to go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Aya. Akina dada Uma Skill. Jeni mkishika na mkono tukiweka tukiweka ili mkae mahali pamoja mkamsaidia katika sifa. Kai mkita ya yiki ya ipo tupite. Alafu mkisajike mahali pamoja mkanisaidia mahali cha lady ataenda muende hapo ili mtanisaidia katika sifa. Wale wa miaka imesonga Wa hiyo umu 
wazee na na mama kama wako kwa ile miaka imesonga anawashia miaka 70 wakuja wakichukua wakiwenda eh hao
katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuaje mbele zako tukisema ni asanti kwa sababu ya neema yako na nguvu zako nyingi asanti kwa sababu ya kutubariki na kutuongoza na kutupea nafasi hii njema mfalme uishie milele ya kufanya kazi hii tangia mambo haya yalipofanyika mfalme umekuwa Mungu mwema umelinda hii jamii umewatendea mema uwepo wako umekuwa mwingi sana we praise you and we worship your holy name Narehida lele ntu adina mbe na kumaigama wakoine makuwa meke wegano mara avime na umatuga tere. Uwepo arao mtakatifu awe juu yao, uwaongoze, uwaifadhi, nafsi zao mfalme ziponyo enawe. Mawazo yao buwana ya lindu enawe. Kwa maana wewe ni mungu mkuu. Kimeke wega, kimara avime, kimatunga tere, kimahe dhaye wa ngorona dhaye wa meshiria. Kwa maana wewe ni buwana wa majeshi. Muinuliwe na utukuzwe. Hili ni ombi la imani katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye buwana na mkobozi wa maisha yetu. Na sasa amani ya Mungu ipitaye ufahamu wote iwe pamoja na mioyo yenu na nafsi zenu ili mkae mkimjua Mungu na kumpenda zaidi. Nazo na baraka zake Mwenyezi Mungu Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Ziadamane pamoja nanyi, zikae nanyi. Ziwe pamoja na hii jamii ili ziwape amani na utulivu. Zikae pamoja na marafiki ziwape nguvu. Zikae pamoja nanyi katika hatua zenu na maombolezo yenu na katika furaha yenu. Ziwe pamoja nanyi mukisafiri, mukiodoka na mukirudi. Na ni sasa hata milele. Amen. Amen. Wana asifiwe. Amen. Naona kuna wale ambao wako na maua sijui nani ya tanisaidia kuweka hiyo maua. Kaindre help me. Ili hiyo mambo yende salama. Asante. Asante sana mchugaji. Tunisatewa hiyo maua. Takua na hile ya kanisa. Za jamii biri. So kanisa wa karibie ili tuanze kuweka ile ya msalaba. Iko hapa nyuma kwangu. So the church kanisa tu karibie. Huwa la msalaba liko hapa. Elder why not because all the available elders to fadhali ili tuwekele hii. Yeah. Thank you so much. The church represented by the elders. So the other one is the heart. Here is Jami, the main one. Yeah, so the, the children. Yeah, please, please come. Could you know what to do? Jaribu tu jaribu kujeni tu watawafuata. Everyone here, aya. So we can place that. Asante, we have the grad children. The grad children.
All the grad children were Caribbean. Asante Natusidi Kujipangufo. Those are the grad children. Ah, yeah. Then finally, we have the great grad children. The great grad children, Wakiwe Kerea. Tutakuana, the firstborn, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson Kamau. Yeah, yeah. To be done with the great grad children. So the other one is by Mr. and Mrs. Johnson Kamau. What are you what about Mepewa, Maua, Tuta, Tuta Panda, Bada, Yahi? Yeah, Tuta, Apo Bere Kidogo, Yam Sarabo. Thank you so much. Tuki Marizia, how are you to make it? Natuta, Tukona Tagazo. Bada Yahi family members water the committee members what are about to report Katika Kikao, Shatown, and Yubani to Takutana Hapa PCA Macedonia, he about your neighboring. So all the family members. Igoro 